Uh, I think that uh, what I would say to the Polish fans is, uh, you know, thank you for your support. Uh, I know it's um, it's not easy to see uh, your team, who which or your country, which has uh, a great pool of talent, to under underachieve. I, I don't think that we have done as well as uh, we we could. And um, so, thank you for your patience. But know that. The organization, the federation, is working very hard each year to improve the situations, to to bring in the uh, the right chemistry of guys, the right team, the, the right setup, the right coaches, the right staff, to to really get the full um, extent of what what is possible for this Polish national team. And like I said, uh, when you look at some of the guys on the team, you see the talent is here. Um, it's just about bringing that talent together, trying to find the great the, the best mix in order to. Uh, to fully access all that talent and, and to uh, compete, um, not just against other European teams, but in in, a, in an Olympic type situation against all countries. And I think that they're on the right uh, the right way. And so, just thank you for your patience and um, know that uh, every year it's improving and it's going to get better. I think the main goal in the Eurobasket is uh, you always want to start with something. Um, First goal is probably to get out of the group play. You know, I one of the reasons why I wanted to play Eurobasket is because I remember what happened in uh, Lithuania. We we took a team with uh, not much experience, um, not the full extent of the talent of Polish basketball, and and we almost did something. We almost passed uh, out of the what they called the death group. Um, in the back of my mind, I still remember that Great Britain game um, where I feel like a little of the responsibility of losing that game was on me um, in some crucial moments. So this is a chance for me to, to come back to play in the Eurobasket and and uh, to first get past that group play and then from there anything can happen and if you look at the team that we have here in Poland with uh, Gortat playing Lampe, uh, some of the young guys, I mean it's just a great group of talent um, in which coach said the other day there's no big weakness, we have it all, um, it's all on us so uh, how well we come together and play as a team, um, I think that people can expect great things from this team. Uh, there's no no particular game I'm waiting for. Um, you know, we have a, a tough group. Again, we have Spain in our group. We have the home team, um, as we did in, in Lithuania, against Lithuanians, now we have Slovenia. So, it's no game. I think every game is, is just as important as the next. We have to go in thinking we can beat everybody. We have to try to beat everybody. And uh, we're not going to look at any team as, oh, you know, if we lose to Spain, then we can still win by beating against. No, it's not like that. We have to go in approaching every game like we're going to win, and uh, I think with that kind of mentality, I think we'll be we'll be good. My motivation is simple. Uh, I once uh, it's a dream of mine to play in the Olympics, um, and I would love to represent Poland in the Olympics one day if it's possible. And I know that. Uh, it's a long ways off, but the start of that is is here in Eurobasket. You have to work your way up. You have to build your uh, build yourself up to that moment, and it starts here with Eurobasket. So that's why I'm here. I would love to first do something in this Eurobasket, and then um, I mean that's the motivation behind. I think any 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 players playing at the best, playing at the, the highest moment, uh, where everyone's going to be uh, seeing you, and that's that's the Olympics. Special rituals. Uh, not really. I I like to shower before the game. <laughs> um, that's that's about the only thing I can think of. Um, I I have to take a shower uh, before the game, you know, and after my nap, and then I maybe just a little bit of mental reflection. Um, go somewhere quiet. And just think about the things that I want to achieve and how I'm gonna approach the game because I think that preparation um, for a game is, is very important. You have to get yourself mentally prepared, especially in a tournament like this where you're gonna be playing game after game after game and you don't have time to really um, to really scout the other team or your opponent that you're going to be playing against. So uh, mental preparation and, uh, and feeling clean. Uh, my inspirations in the court uh, and life, they, they coexist. You know, uh, basketball has been such a big part of my life. Uh, you know, it's, I can't remember how it's not affected my life. <laughs> You know, I started playing when I was eight years old, so um, the basketball has been very good to me, very good to my family. It's brought me, um, uh, it's introduced me to my wife, and you know, my kids uh, were all uh, 
created because I was playing basketball and I ended up in Poland. So I have so much to thank for being uh, uh, blessed with the ability to, to play basketball and for as long as I have. And, um, you know, I, I just I live my life every day trying to do what's right. Um, you know, trying to make the best of every situation to stay positive and, uh, and, and be an example um, for, for young kids, for, for whoever it is to, to follow, you know, that's, that's how I live my life. I, um, I enjoy um, pretty much uh, everything, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't look at negative things. I'm not a pessimist, I'm very optimistic and that's how I try to live my life. That's how I try to be on the court, just uh, very unselfish. One of the hardest moments in my life, um, I remember I was playing in Malaga, uh, having a great season in EuroLeague, and my mom and my family came for Christmas and uh, my, they, they told me, um, you know, my family, they don't like to tell me things because they, they think it's gonna affect my basketball, but um, I found out that uh, she was diagnosed with ALS, with, which is Lou Gehrig's disease. It's a very rare, terrible disease, no cure. And uh, I remember just thinking, you know, my mom has been my strength, you know, she's been my support since I was young and she loved the game of basketball. And, uh, it was a very difficult moment. I remember that year, I, I, I just, I went from being up here to just crashing, you know. I, I felt like my, my life had just crashed down upon me and um, I couldn't, couldn't score a basket, didn't feel motivated. And uh, it wasn't until I, I had uh, a great conversation with my dad. Um, and uh, actually, my, my, she wasn't my wife then, but my girlfriend, my, my wife, she was there with me. And those two people, you know, along with my sisters, they, they really made the difference um, in, in helping me to come back and, and, and to actually make a recovery and to play one of the best basketball games in my life uh, against Rome um, in that moment after, after having, you know, the support from my wife and my, and my father and my sisters. So, I think the, the motivation for me in the, in the hardest moments, the most difficult moments, comes from uh, the people that I love, the people that love me. Um, that's who I find support in, that's who I, if something's wrong, I, you know, I immediately, I, I talk with my wife and she can just make me feel better right away. And um, so I mean, I'm very fortunate to have people in my life that, that uh, love me the way they do and uh, that are there to support me, whether I'm winning, losing, happy, sad. And it's just a great feeling knowing that uh, I can always come home to a, a great woman uh, who's got my back.